In age-related questions, it is helpful to know that the age difference between any two persons is always constant or the same. We call these the constant difference. For example, Mr. Lee is 30 years old and Venice is 5. They have an age gap difference of 25. This age gap difference of 25 is always the same every year. Why? Because Mr. Lee will age by one year, the year after, and Dennis will also age by one year. So you see, since both of them increase in age of plus one and plus one, the age gap difference is constant. So now let's tackle this question. Mr. Lee is four times as old as the daughter who is nine years old. In how many years' time will Mr. Lee be twice as old as Dennis? So remember just now what we have mentioned, the age gap difference is always constant. So let us highlight the difference here, which means that these three units would be the same as this one chunk of blue unit. So let us find out what is the age gap. So in the first part, it's 9 times 3. I get 27, which is equal to these three units of yellow blocks. And then this three units of yellow blocks is equal to this one unit of blue block, which is Mr. Lee's and Dennis age gap. So which means this is 27 and Dennis would be 27 years old as well. So in how many years time will Mr. Lee be twice as old? We will look at Dennis age. Dennis was 9 and now she's 27. So 27 minus 9, it will give me 18. So the answer is 18. Another way of tackling this question would be finding Mr. Lee's age. So Mr. Lee's age, since he's four times as old, he will be nine times four, which is 36. So we know Mr. Lee is 36, Dennis is nine. We will find the age gap. 36 minus nine is equals to 27. So the age gap difference, remember, it is always constant. So applying the 27 inside here. And they say Mr. Lee would be twice as old as Dennis. So which means Mr. Lee would be 27 times 2, which is equals to 54. Or we can just gladly say that Dennis is 27. And using that 27 minus 9, I get 18. Or I can take Mr. Lee's age, which is 54, minus 36. I will also get 18. So remember, in mathematics, there is always more than one way to derive your answer.